Nafcillin sodium vial with threaded port is used to treat many different kinds of bacterial infections. It's a type of antibiotic that belongs to the penicillin family. It works by preventing the bacteria from growing and spreading in the body. This medication should be used exactly as prescribed by your doctor. The dosage and frequency will depend on the severity of the infection, your medical condition, and how well you respond to the treatment. It's important to take this medication at the same time every day to maintain a consistent level in your body. Be sure to finish the entire course of treatment, even if you start to feel better before it's completed. If you miss a dose, take it as soon as you remember. Do not double the dose to catch up. Consult with your doctor or pharmacist for further information on the proper use of nafcillin sodium vial with threaded port. This medication is usually given by injection into a vein every 4 to 6 hours as directed by your doctor. The dosage is determined based on your medical condition and how you respond to treatment. For children, the dosage is also based on their weight. If you are administering this medication to yourself at home, make sure to learn all the preparation and usage instructions from your healthcare professional. Before using it, check the product visually for any particles or discoloration. If you notice either of these, do not use the liquid. It's important to learn how to store and safely dispose of medical supplies. It's best to give aminoglycosides, such as gentamicin, separately from this medication. Do not mix them together in the same four fluid. For the best results, use this antibiotic at evenly spaced times. To help you remember, use it at the same times every day. Continue using this medication until the full prescribed amount is finished, even if your symptoms disappear after a few days. Stopping the medication too early may cause the infection to return. If your condition continues or worsens, be sure to inform your doctor. If you experience pain at the injection site, notify your doctor or pharmacist. This medication has been prescribed because the benefit to you is greater than the risk of side effects. Many people using this medication do not have serious side effects. Tell your doctor right away if you have any serious side effects, including pain-slash-swelling-slash-skin peeling at the injection site, joint-slash-muscle pain, signs of kidney problems, extreme tiredness, easy bruising-slash-bleeding, new signs of infection, seizures, uncontrolled movements, confusion, irregular heartbeat, muscle cramps, weakness. This medication may rarely cause a severe intestinal condition due to a bacteria called C. difficile. Tell your doctor right away if you develop diarrhea that doesn't stop, abdominal or stomach pain slash cramping, blood slash mucus in your stool. If you have these symptoms, do not use anti-diarrhea or opioid products because they may make symptoms worse. Use of this medication for prolonged or repeated periods may result in oral thrush or a new vaginal yeast infection. Contact your doctor if you notice white patches in your mouth, a change in vaginal discharge, or other new symptoms. A very serious allergic reaction to this drug is rare. However, get medical help right away if you notice any symptoms of a serious allergic reaction, including rash, itching slash swelling, severe dizziness, trouble breathing. This is not a complete list of possible side effects. If you notice other effects not listed above, contact your doctor or pharmacist. Before using nafcillin sodium vial with threaded port, it's important to let your doctor or pharmacist know if you have any allergies to penicillin or cephalosporin antibiotics. This medication may also contain inactive ingredients that could cause allergic reactions, so be sure to talk to your pharmacist for more details. Additionally, it's important to inform your doctor or pharmacist about your medical history, especially if you have asthma, kidney disease, or liver disease. Since this medication contains sodium, it could affect you if you are on a salt-restricted diet or have a condition that could be worsened with an increase in salt intake, such as heart failure. Be sure to consult your doctor or pharmacist for more information. It's also important to note that nafcillin may cause live bacterial vaccines, like the typhoid vaccine, to not work well. Be sure to inform your healthcare professional if you are using nafcillin before having any immunizations or vaccinations. It's important to be aware that older adults, newborns, and infants may be at greater risk for side effects while using this drug. If you are pregnant, this medication should only be used when clearly needed. It's important to discuss the risks and benefits with your doctor. Finally, it's important to consult your doctor before using this medication if you are breastfeeding, as this drug passes into breast milk. 
Drug interactions can change how your medications work or increase your risk for serious side effects. It's important to keep a list of all the products you use and share it with your doctor and pharmacist. Do not start, stop, or change the dosage of any medicines without your doctor's approval. Some products that may interact with nafcillin sodium veal with threaded port include blood thinners, such as warfarin, methotrexate, and tetracyclines. This medication can speed up the removal of other medications from your body, which may affect how they work. This includes medications like deridorexant, elicestrant, and certain products used to treat chronic hepatitis C. It may also decrease the effectiveness of hormonal birth control, so it's important to discuss with your doctor or pharmacist if you should use reliable backup birth control methods. Additionally, this medication may interfere with certain lab tests, so make sure your lab personnel and doctors are aware that you are using this drug. If someone has taken too much of this medication and is experiencing severe symptoms like passing out or difficulty breathing, it's important to seek immediate medical help. In the U.S., you can call your local poison control center at 1-800-222-1222, and in Canada, you can call a provincial poison control center. Symptoms of an overdose may include seizures, confusion, and changes in mental or emotional state such as agitation. It's crucial to act quickly in these situations and seek medical assistance. Your doctor may order lab or medical tests to monitor your kidney and liver function, as well as your blood count, while you are using nafcillin sodium vial with threaded port. It is important to attend all medical and lab appointments and consult your doctor for more information. When using nafcillin sodium vial with threaded port, it is crucial to take each dose at the scheduled time. If you happen to miss a dose, it is important to consult with your doctor or pharmacist to create a new dosing schedule. It is not recommended to take a double dose to make up for the missed one. This medication should be taken as prescribed by your healthcare provider to ensure its effectiveness. Remember to follow the recommended daily dosage and take the medication at the optimal timing as advised by your doctor. Be sure to consult the product instructions and your pharmacist for storage details. It is important to keep all medications out of the reach of children and pets. Do not flush medications down the toilet or pour them into a drain unless instructed to do so. When the product is expired or no longer needed, be sure to properly discard it. Your pharmacist or local waste disposal company can provide guidance on the proper disposal methods. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the US, you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.